Good morning. It's Tuesday, February 14th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of hope for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, An Honest Prayer, and our scripture is Psalm 119. How can a young person stay pure? By obeying your word. I have tried hard to find you. Don't let me wander from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. I have recited aloud all the regulations you have given us. I have rejoiced in your laws as much as in riches. I will study your commandments and reflect on your ways. I will delight in your decrees and not forget your word. There are some images that stay with you for life. Some are there because they were dramatic or explosive, like a tragic accident or a first experience with death or birth. There are other lifetime moments that insidiously sneak up on you. One of those sneaky images I have is something I heard in a pastor's sermon many years ago about why some people don't believe in God. A child prays for a pony. His family lives in a city apartment, so we know how that turns out. Later, he prays that big kid in his third grade class who's been bullying him all year will catch the fever and die. We know God rarely grants that one. By the time he's a freshman in college, he's about had it with God, but he's got a big math test coming up, so he decides to give that man upstairs, how I hate that, just one last chance. He stands in the field next to his college dorm and lifts the challenge. God, if you're really there, I need a B on this test. No, make it an A. With that base covered, he runs to the bar where he and his fraternity buddies drink the night away. The next day, he flunks the math test because he didn't study at all. His sulking thought is this. I knew it. I now have proof there is no God. In comparison to our young friend with the tried that praying to God thing and it doesn't work attitude chip on his shoulder, the psalmist paints a different picture of a young person trusting God, not challenging God. Notice what he does. He recognizes his weakness and the need to stay close to God, so he studies God's ways and commands. He memorizes those parts that speak warning to his heart, so those will be second nature when the temptations come. And he's teachable, even rejoicing while asking God to fix his word deep in his soul. The bottom line for this young man is open and honest with his prayers before God. For you today, how's your prayer life lately? Is there openness with being honest, teachable, and willing to change as God directs you through His Word? If not, today's a good day to begin. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.